Hey guys, and w welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Alright, we're still gonna do some more submissions and do villainous. Villainous foes. We're gonna talk to Krillin this time with Goku. No, I want a white kitty. Come on, don't be so picky, Marin. Hey Krillin, what's going on? Hey Goku, little Marin here is upset because her favorite kitty plushie has got a huge hole in it. Uh, I thought I just replaced the original plushie with a different one while Trunks tried to fix Turtle tried to fix it. Not Trunks, Turtle. That's what I did. Okay, here we go. I thought I'd just replace her original plushie with a different one while Turtle tried to fix it, but I guess that wasn't a good call. Because Turtle's a turtle and Turtle doesn't even fix things. <sighs> Well, it is her favorite toy. I'm at my wit's end here. We don't have another white kitty plushie to give her. Hey, Goku, could you be a pal and find her a kitty plushie? A kitty plushie, huh? Cute and cuddly corn. Marin's beloved kitty plushie has a hole in it, so she'll need another one to hold her over. Krillin and Android 18 cannot be in your party. Alright, let's do this. No problem. I don't know much about plushies, but I'll see what I can do. But thanks a bunch, Goku. I knew I could count on you. All right, I'll be right back. Hold up, Goku. Just so we're clear, the plushie's got to be white, okay? Yeah, got it. White. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's big or small, fat or skinny, as long as it's white. She'll love it. A white one, huh? Where can I find a white kitty? Hmm. Oh, right. He wouldn't me happen to mention corn, would he? Corn is a white blind cat. Bet Marin would go crazy. <laughs> So yeah, sorry to spring this on you, but could you come back with me? Uh, are you seriously suggesting I stand in the place of a little ghost toy? Yeah, come on, Corn. You'll be doing Krillin and 18 a huge favor. I will not serve as a child's plaything. You won't have to do it for very long. That does not make me shudder at the ideas any less. Oh, come on, Corn. Don't be so selfish. Selfish? You got some nerve. The answer's no. Oh, it's you know the secret, Goku. Corn's a real sucker for a friend called the Elder. Give him some of that and he'll do anything you want. Whoa, really? That's great. Thanks, Yajirobe. There's no way I'm passing up a chance to see Corn get treated like a toy. Corn, I'll give you some Meow Mints if you you play with Marin. What? Oh, will I? You love your Meow Mints, right? I, I can give you some if you help Krillin and Sally out for just a bit. Hmm. You really got me by the tail there. Fine, but only if you'd actually bring me some Meow Mints, okay? You got it. Well, so the old furball really will do anything for Meow Mint. Hard to believe he actually got it on board. Oh yeah, Goku, about the Meow Mint. It grows all over this island in the south. You should be able to find it if it's in your ice field. Huh? In the south? It's probably close to Kami's house. Well, wherever it is, I'll find it. See you in a bit. Head towards Southeast Island on the world map. Southeast Island. My eyes itching.
as Goku, get your hands on some Meow Mint. The Meow Mint has got to be in this, in, in this island. That Yajirobe was talking about. Mm -hmm. Whoa, lag. What are you doing? Oh, leave me alone. I'll deal with these attack drones first. Now get the heck out of my way. Oh no. Back to normal, Goku. Come on, go Super Saiyan 3. Bug one. No, use Dragon Fist. Oh, those Frieza Force officers are starting to get on my nerves here. Oh! Damn those annoying enemies anymore. All I gotta do is sense first. I think I see some Yamint right there. I guess this Meow this is Meowment. So this is what drives Corrin wild, huh? I don't get it, but whatever. I need to get this back to Corrin. Hmm. Hey, Corn, I got you some Meow Mint. Oh, well done, Goku. It looks like you've picked some of the good stuff, too. Oh, ho, ho. All right, well, we better be going. We don't have much time. Oh, I was hoping you had forgotten about that. Very well, let's get this over with. <laughs> Whoa. He's gonna act like a doll to Baron. Oh. My phone. Hi, I'm Aaron. Looks like I look. I got you a white kitty. Wow, that's a big kitty. Remember, Coin, you're supposed to be a plushie, so that means no talking or moving. Okay? I'm aware of that. Uh oh, Marin's finally stopped crying. Thanks, Goku. <laughs> yeah, you really helped us out. That's clearly Coin. I can't believe Goku's actually got him to agree to this. Ah. Hey, take it easy, Marin. You're going to open a hole in this one, too. Okay, Daddy. I tagged a long way along thinking this would be a good for a couple of laps, but this is way better than I thought. I'm sure I hope Gord's okay. At this rate, I'm going to need fixing, too. And so, Turtle finally fixes Marin's toy, and Corrin's time as a plushie looks like it's coming to its end. However... This is certainly a pro this is certainly a problem. No, I like this kitty better. You've got to be kidding me. Marin actually likes Co I mean the new plushie better than her old one. She's not even looking at her old one. Uh, 
And after all, I went to all that effort to fix it. Goku, Yajiro, be a little help, please. <laughs> I think the new plushie's just as happy as Marin. I can tell he wants Marin to play with him forever. How could you, Yajirobe? <laughs> well, Marin, I'm really sorry, but I gotta return this kitty now. I'll bring him back again sometime, but he's gotta go home today, okay? You promise you'll bring him back? Y yeah, of course I promise. Okay, bye-bye, kitty. Come back again, okay? There isn't enough Meowman to the world to make me do this again. Alright. Cute and Cuddly Corn is finished. We got 238,977 EXP and 1D Metal and 1 Master Corn Plush. Ah. Okay. Take a sip of water. Thanks a lot. This meant the world to us. Haha, <laughs> I think Corn has just as much fun as Marin. Are you insane? Oh, my back and tail are killing me. Oh man, I'll never forget the sight of Corn getting played with like a little doll. Corn's a little bit fragile, Goku. But, but enough said. Why don't we go over there and destroy that base? But quite frankly, we're going to check over this story one more time. Count how many we got left. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> oh, five more to go. How cool. And we're going to go to the community board. Let's check how many items, how many we got. We only got Awakening Metal, so that's fine. Awakening Water, I mean. I'm gonna give that to Mr. Popo. Fancy piercing, celebrity fan photo, mega mass. Cool. Well, let's carry on. First of all, let's go to Great West Desert Area. And take out those villainous foes. Okay, I'm gonna switch characters now. Right after I pick this one up. This is a turban. What's this cloth? Oh, okay, it's a turban. I remember wearing something like this to the other to the world tournament before. Oh, this is Goku when he was a teenager on the, on the Piccolo Junior saga.
Oh. I'm gonna go put, add the characters on the party. Da -da. Trunks. And Vegeta. Add some Mega Masks. Alrighty, here we go. And then, now oh, what's back? Then, huh? Nothing. Let's go and fight the those level eighty Bobbity destroyers. And go Super Saiyan three. Wow, he just kicked me. Oh come on, I was using the Dragon Fist. Oh, come on. What are you doing, seriously? Ow. Boom. Actually, we could probably switch to Gohan. Because Gohan's super high level. Okay, I'm gonna use my map. Go for three more. Okay, let's get some rainbow orbs. Oh, good. Just focus on the villainous first. Those villainous foes. Level 80. Those Bobby Special Forces are more tougher than usual. Now why are they kicking me in the face? Ow. Okay, go Power Unleashed, Gohan. Yes, there we go. Kaboom. All right, he's up there.
Bam. Bam. Done. All right. One more to go. It's in the oasis, right? Nope. Power unleashed. Those guys are all at a level 80, like I said. I said it last time. But I'm focusing this time. Oh. I still take damage even if these guys are at a high level. Oh yeah. Uh oh. This pui pui. Deborah. It's Super Boo Gohan absorbed. There's Yakon and Majin Vegeta, Majin Boo and Kid Boo. Right? No, Kid Boo's not there yet. But oh, we got Spirit Awakening Water. Cool. We'll be able to deal with Pui Pui and Yakon, right? But first, let's do this. Okay. Let's do Super Attack Pally. Ultimate Breaker Masenko. Ultimate Rapid Fire Q Wave. Nope. Let's do. Dragon Hammer Fist. Cool. I think it's all good. Go, go on. All right, here we go. Let's battle with them first. Deborah, Majin Vegeta, and Majin Buu are at level ninety. Ow. Uh oh, he's got a Gallic gun and a Big Bang attack, and he's gonna use Candy Beam. Dodge the Candy Beam. He does it two times. What in the world does he do it two times now? Ah, darn it! In your face, Majin Boo. On level up, go ahead and reach level one hundred and seven. How awesome can it be? Now, let's go for this one. It's by the oasis. Oh no. No, 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 no. Of course. Divine Awakening Water. Oh, oh nice. 
Now let's deal with Super Boo. In his normal form, in Gotenks form. He was responsible for eating everyone up. By turning them into candy and food, he turned Chi Chi into an egg. Oh my god. Why in the world is Bonjin Boo so obsessed with food? Level up! Jita reached level 100! Perfect! But next, we're gonna switch to... Actually, let's switch to Goku. I don't need Vegeta right now. I don't need any more Dragon Balls to collect right now, so... Oh my god, no. I was going to get that memory thing. Hey, leave me alone already. Level up. Goku reached level 100. This commander red and, and staff officer black. The Red Ribbon Army! That was from the Return of Goku. I remember... I remember Black killed Red! His goal... Red's goal was to become taller! His wish to become tall made him jealous! Now we're gonna go face Pui... Pui villainous Pui Pui and Yakon. Man, Yakon is so annoying and big. He also eats light! Dragon Hammer Fist would really do the trick. Oh, great. This is getting obnoxious. And why is he hitting me in the face? I'll deal with Yakon. Stop doing that. Or I'm going to give you a butt kicking. Boom. He keeps lowering my health and he's using Sniper Shot. Yeah, they got an S rank. Hurrah! Uh oh, Kid Boo. Is he pounding his chest? What is he? What is Kid Boo? A gorilla? Well, he does scream and he does laugh and roar. Why? Is he, how come he doesn't even talk? Come on. Where's your campfire to rest? No, that's not it. No, don't have time. I'm not kidding. I don't even have time. No, 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 no. Well, fine, I'll battle you. What do I care? But I'm running out of health. Ow! <sighs> man, oh man, those 
guys never freaking quit. More D metal. Huh. I'm gonna get my health. You know what? Well, let's just let's put some. Let's get some ultra helates for Gohan. I'm gonna put the sense of being on the register palette. It's fine. Stop lagging. We're gonna fight him. Kid Boo, level 95. Majin Boo. Majin Boo and Super Boo are level 90. Oh my god, he keeps on paralyzing me with this. With this. Red Spark Aura. Come on. You're still going down. Oh no. That hurt. And he's got support and he called an ally. Oh, I should deal with Skid Boo before he calls another ally. Where are you? All right. Evil Buster? One. Got it. A little advice. Some orbs are better than others. I know. Ooh, what else? Not seriously, what else? Any more villainous foes? I just had all of village. You still got more enemies. More villains for the battle, and then we're gonna go, and then we're gonna face Mira. These are the guys from Xenoverse and Xenoverse Two, too, right? Remember Demigra, the main villain in the series? Oh man, what a pure sadist he was! Mir Toa Go tanks? Villains go tanks? Oh my god. And what uh oh. Vegito in there in his villainous form? Super Vegito? Can, can you hear me? There are several enemies nearby wielding incredible incredibly wicked power. Um, I've never felt energy this powerful before. Exercise extreme caution. Oh man. It's gonna be so annoying. Alright, here we go. Now Goku's at a level 100, so we're going to switch to Piccolo. And no wonder why Piccolo is at a level 77. I don't understand it. Uh, 
right? That's a good way of avoiding bad guys. Rest, please. Hurrah! Take some more key. Blast down that enemy base. Voila! Why did the enemy bases come back? Okay. Wow. What level are these guys in? I don't know. But we gotta find out. Where are they? Seriously, where are they? Come on, come on. They're right here. I'll deal with them. Mira. Toa. I've been waiting for this. It looks like you've improved. It's finally time. The final stages of the experiment can commence. What we'll do with Go Tanks and Vegito? Oh man, they're all at a level 100. Oh my god, it's gonna be annoying. I'm not sure if I could win this. I got Spirit Sword. Yeah, shut up, Toa. Not that galactic donut. Go tanks trapped me. Whoa. 
knocked him out. Good fire rapid key way. Hey, come back here so I can give you a butt kicking. Wow. Alright. Come on. Hey, you just hit me. Dragon Hammer Fist. Bam. Level up. 109, Piccolo 79, Trunk 76. Okay. Finally, finally, I have enough energy. That's a lot of energy. You've all done a marvelous job. All of the energy generated from your fights has contributed generally to Mira's glorious revival. Everything in order for the revival. Let us go now, Mira. I will end all of you! Oh, Mira. Mira was responsible. Training school tutorial. Yay, training. Okay, let's go to the community first. The Warriors. Boost. Nice. What else? All done. Done. What else? Done. Uh, done. Uh, done. All maxed. All maxed. No, no. What else? Seriously, what else? Soul emblems. Let's check the details. All maxed out. Maxed, maxed. Non maxed. I'll give him two. Ha ha! Then we'll go give some to to Mr. Satan. Here we go. Train. Uh oh. Development. No. Oh. Maybe give some to to Mr. Satan. Alright. Awakening water. Check. That's it. Give me some wolves. Boom. Mm. 
now let's go. I'm picking up some unbelievably villainous energy in the land of the Kais. Make sure you're ready for a tough fight. Oh, wow. Well, first, I'm going to check one more time. Story. Lone Guardian. We gotta talk to Paul my trunk. Okay. Let's go somewhere else. But right now, we're gonna go to the lands of the Kais. And we're gonna go finish. Let's we're gonna go fight Mira, and meet him. But at some point, he's gonna be freaking annoying and tough. I wonder what level he is he, he is he in. I can't exactly tell. Oh, what's that? What's that on top? Oh, adult metal. Haha. <laughs> All right. Seriously, I'm gonna go to the party and switch to Krillin, so that he will use Solar Flare. I'm sure it would help. Let's get inside that Phantom Gate thing. Hurrah! At any rate, we're gonna go settle this with Mira, with Mira once and for all. He's on the sky. He could be anywhere. Come on. There they are. That red aura. Skip that. Yeah, there's Mira. He's at level 100. Oh, good gravy. He's going to be very annoying. And brutally strong. And he's got a heck of a lot of defenses and health. What are you doing? Oh my god, Dark Kamehameha! It's really annoying. Alright. Give it your all, Gohan, Trunks, and Krillin. Let's solar flare him. Yeah, that would work. 
one. Got the Android Punch. Oh, Finish Breaker. Oh no, that's a whole lot of key blasts. He's strong. Enough's enough. About to finish you off once and for all, Mira. Boom! I win! Oh, got an A rank. Should have taken enough, a lot of damage. Trunks reached level 79, Krillin is level 76. Not too bad. Let's skip that. You've done it! The source of all that villainous energy is gone! You do Earth and yours truly proud! Reappearance of super villainous enemies. The source of the villainous enemies is gone, but the enemies themselves have shown up again in all areas. If you defeat them again, they'll come back, making them the perfect opponents to fight to get stronger. Oh, this is going to be tough, if you ask me. Well, I'm not going to go back and fight those guys again. So now, we better switch to... No, 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 don't go to the items. Switch to... Goku. <laughs> oh, Piccolo reached level 81. Cool. Oh, okay. I'll put him back here. That blasted Saiyan better get me what I deserve. A woman to kiss. There you are, finally! What's going on, old timer? Uh, it's high time you finally reward me for what I've done for you. And not like you did last time. I won't be deceived by some shape-shifting trickster. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Don't you dare try to laugh this off. Now then, where is my reward? I want a woman, a real one, to guess. Uh, uh oh, Elder Kai, Vegeta, and Bulma. Elder Kai demands Goku bring him what he promised him, and he doesn't have the patience for any more trickery. No, he's a little bit impatient. Oh, well, you bring me a pretty lady right now, or so help me. Okay, gr okay, Gramps. You just need me to bring you a girl, right? Let's see. That's right, and not that friend of yours pretending to be a sorry excuse for one. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. When you talk like that, it doesn't inspire much confidence. I can't trust you with this, to this on your own. The current Supreme Kai will join you. What? You want me to join him? Of course, I need you to keep an eye on this one. But Elder Kai, what about my responsibilities here says the Supreme Kai? I guess you better make it snappy then, and this is one of your responsibilities. Oh, it must be hard being the Supreme Kai. And it's only made harder thanks to you. Oh, wow. Now Goku's going to have to find Bulma, right? Instead of a shape-shifting character like Oolong. Better not be Oolong this time, Goku. Let's see, where could Bulma be right now? Er, 
Oh, hey, Bulma's dad. You know where Bulma is? Bulma, I believe she's hard at work in the R&D wing. So she's in there, huh? Got it. Thanks. Hmm, where'd they go? Where's my collection? What collection of what, Dr. Briefs? Oh, there's Vegeta. Hmm, hmm. I'm gonna have to increase the durability of this cable. Oh wait, that might cause problems for driving mobility. Enough of this, I'm heading back. Just a sec, Vegeta. I might need you to get me some materials, so stick around, okay? Hmm. Again, I'm not your personal servant. Oh, hey, Vegeta. Kakarot. Hey, Bulma. What are you groaning about? You eat some bad food or something? That's one hell of a way to greet a lady. No, I didn't eat some bad food. I'm not you, after all. I'm creating a robot clone of yours truly, one that's practically indistinguishable in appearance and voice. But I've run into a bit of a roadblock in its development. Oh, yeah? Huh? Who is that standing by behind you? Who's that standing by there behind you? Oh right, this is Supreme Kai. He's a god in charge of not just Earth, but all sorts of planets. Supreme Kai? I thought that was the old pervert you told me about before. Oh, yeah, that's actually the Supreme Kai from a long, long time ago. This one's the new Supreme Kai. Wouldn't... Hold on. She wouldn't happen to be talking about Elder Kai, would she? Hmm. Gotcha. Had no idea there were so many gods. She doesn't seem to be faced by the presence of a god. What a remarkable mortal. Hey, that reminds me. Since you fused with Kibito, what am I supposed to call you now? Oh, wait. You can continue to call me Supreme Kai. Fused? What are you talking about? You mean he fused Trunks did like Trunks did with Goten? Oh, well, it's actually a little different than that. Please allow me to explain. Kibito Kai kindly explains how Patar fusion works to Bulma. Oh, okay. So you use those Patar earrings to combine bodies. And you two used them to fuse once before, too, huh? I had no idea you did that. Yeah, and we became super strong like we did. Right, Vegeta? Hmm. I could have done it without combining bodies with you. But yes, the, p the power was incredible. You know, ever since we fused into Vegito, I've been thinking, would it be cool to fight him? Just thinking about going head to head with someone that strong has got me all pumped up. To be honest, I feel the same way, but that's impossible. He's the fusion of the two of us, and we can't fight ourselves. Yourselves, huh? Hmm, hmm. Wait, you might be able to do after all. What? What? You want someone just as strong as your fuse form to fight, right? Well, you obviously can't fight the real him, but you can fight a virtual version. My state-of-the-art training room has the technology to pull that off. Whoa, really it does? I need to collect data on Vegito first, though, before I can program a virtual simulation of him in his fighting style. So what you're saying is that we need to fuse into Vegito again, right? Mm. Then count me out. Don't tell me you've forgotten that fusion with the Patara earring is permanent, Kakarot. We were just lucky that getting absorbed by Boo ended the fusion for some reason. Oh yeah, I guess you're right about that. I wouldn't want to be fused forever, either. Oh, actually, about that? After the fight with Boo, I did a real research on the Patara. I, I was eager to learn more about them. I ended up learning something quite remarkable. It seems that the fusion is only permanent for Supreme Kai's. For mortals, the fusion only lasts for about one hour. What? So the reason our fusion ended up in the fight with Boo was because an hour passed? Oh. So that means we're still good to go for the training room then, right? Nice. You're one step closer to fighting Vegito now. Still fusion, though. What's your problem? So much for being a tough guy. You want to fight Vegito, right? Then suck it up and combine bodies with Goku. No more complaining, got it? You both got a Batara earring from the Supreme Kai, right? Once you fuse, I'll have you fight virtual warriors. I'll use the data I get from the fight to program a virtual Vegito. Alright, I'm ready to go whenever you guys are. Great! 
let's do this. Uh, Vegeta, if we don't hurry, Bulma's gonna yell at us. Uh, shut the hell up! You think I don't know that? Damn it all to hell! Wow. <laughs> uh oh. The fusion. The guitar ring again. Wow, it's really him. It's the warrior they formed to fight Majin Buu. Huh? So this is what happens when the two of them fuse. <laughs> so, you want to collect some data on me? Good luck trying to get anything useful. I'm probably a lot stronger than your machine can even measure. Wow, someone's awfully cocky. Guess we'll have to find out if my device can handle you. Here comes your opponent, so have at it. Frieza, soup. What? These guys? Oh, Cell, Frieza, and Kid Boo. Sorry, but they're not strong enough to be worth my time. I'll finish them off in the blink of an eye. Okay, tough guy, quit bagging and just fight them. Heh, <laughs> don't mind if I do. You're about to witness something real special, so I hope you're ready. Sha! Super Saiyan Vegito, here goes. Alright, we're gonna fight Frieza, Cell, and Kid Boo. Oh my god, they're both out, they're all at a level 80. That's for sure. Oh my god, we're about to be toast. Well, my health got lower from that fight with, with Mira. But at least I got a Sensu Beam, so that's, that's fine. Seriously, what's wrong with you? Enough blasting me with Kamehameha. The rolling attack is so obnoxiously annoying. Ah, I blocked. Jeez. Split finger shot. Come on. Okay, one more to go. Use the spirit sword. Well, it kind of reminded me of Kuwabara's spirit sword from Yu Yu Hakusho. Yay. Finished already, huh? See, what did I tell you? Too easy. Mm, well, these are much higher numbers than I thought they'd be. But okay, I think I got some good data. Huh, you probably could have gotten more. Maybe if I'd actually drop. Uh-oh. Fusion wore off. What? Huh, you're not fused anymore? Hey, what gives? It, had, it hadn't even been an hour yet. It's most likely because you've exceeded the maximum power the fusion can maintain. What are you talking about? Well, in my research into Patara, I also learned there's a limit to the power a fused warrior can maintain. If you expel too much power, you'll end the fusion faster than the normal time limit. That must be what happened. Oh well, shoot, that sucks. But at least I was able to gather some data. Come join me outside of the training room. Good work, you two. I was able to gather some incredible data. Hmm. I've had enough of this fusion crap. I thought something divine like the Patara would be the perfect, but surprisingly they're not. They were originally intended for only Supreme Kai's, after all. I'm sure the creators didn't have mortals like Goku and Vegeta in mind when crafting the earrings. So, we can fight Vegeta ne Vegito now, right? Right, I need to compile the data first, but that shouldn't take too long. Alright, I can't wait to fight him. You pumped up too, right Vegeta? Yeah, that should be interesting. Okay, so I'll take care of the data while you two get ready for the fight. Let the Supreme Kai know that when you're good to go, okay? Huh? You want me to tell them? That's right, I said I have to prepare the data, didn't I? So I'm too busy. Just so you know, I am really important god. Akai, he is. Okay. Talk to the Kibito guy when you're ready to fight. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go talk to him when I'm ready to battle. Here we go. Goku, are you ready? You'll be going up against Vegito, a very powerful opponent. Fight Vegito? Yes. All right, let's do this. What am I even doing here? Okay, let's get this show on the road. 
<laughs> I'm so excited. So, so first I'll just transfer the Vegito data to the Virtual Warrior. Alright, it's all loaded up. Say hello to Vegito. Oh, Super Vegito. Wow, so this is him, huh? First time I've actually seen what he looks like. <laughs> He's definitely got our faces. Hmm. It makes me sick seeing my body fused with yours, Kakarot. Let's get this over with. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, Vegito, level 85. It's going to be really tough. All right. Watch out for the Kamehameha. Dragon fist him. Come on, come on. Boost up. Stop that. No, 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 that spirit sword is really doing a fast one on me. Oh, back to normal. I see. Come on. Yay! Dragon Fist explode! Come on! Do something! You almost down for the count, dude? Oh man, back to normal again. Sense you being. Why do I keep getting hit all the time or at the darn time? And I was supposed to get close to Vegito. Come on, guys. Look out for Big Bang attack. No, seriously. Come on. A rank. Level 106 and Vegito level 106. Nice. Phew, we barely pulled that one off. Damn it, he was so far stronger than I was expecting. Now I know why Boo struggled so much against him. What the hell, guys? Can't you fight, I don't know, a little more carefully? Thanks to you, knuckleheads, the current voltage, basically everything is completely out of whack. No machine in my place is safe with you guys around. You just broke several of them. Perhaps they've got the combined power of Goku, Vegeta, and Vegeta was too much to handle. Whatever, just get out of here, okay? I got my work cut out for me with these repairs. Well, I think I managed to fix it. That power of yours is un untenable. <clears throat> of course it is. That was a that wasn't a compliment. Well, I'm just glad we got to fight Vegito. Thanks for that, Bulma. Fortunately, we had luck on our side. I only had an hour max to work with, and luckily I was able to find, figure something out in that time. If I'm being honest, I really wanted to conduct a little more research into the fusion stuff, hmm? Hey, uh, Mr. Supreme Guy, you think it would be okay if you let Goku and Vegeta hold on to the Patara? I'd like to collect more data from, the, from them if possible, and who knows, we might end up needing them in the future. I'll make it worth your while, of course. I can build a massage chair for you. I bet you could use some relaxation. You look tense, and that outfit looks uncomfortable. Well, while I'm a little hesitant to leave the Patara here, I do trust these two with them. Really? You do? Yes. Should the need to make us them ever arise, Goku and Vegeta's power will be indispensable. I think uh, it would be perfectly fine to leave the Patara in their case for the time being. I know they'll use them for well. Awesome! Thank you! Oh, and I won't be needing that massage chair. I owe Goku at least this much for what he's done to protect Earth, and I'm actually not dense either. Oh yeah? You're nothing like that other guy Goku mentioned. That uh, old-timer Supreme Kai or whatever. Goku said you wanted to kiss me or something as thanks for making Gohan stronger, right? Not happening. Because Bulma is married to Vegeta. Old-timer. Supreme Kai? Ah! I completely forgot about him. 
What are we going to do? I'm in real trouble now. What? What's going on? Uh-oh. Goku and the Supreme Kai recall why they came to Bulma. Elders Kyle Kai's quest, request had completely slipped their minds. The pair explained everything to Bulma and asked her to come back with them to the land of the Kais. Absolutely not! Come on, Bulma, you gotta help out! Help us out, please! Why, you? How dare you ask my wife to do that? Get someone else to do it! Jeez, Vegeta, it's not like I asked you. Whatever. I'm not doing that! Ah, uh, well, guess we're out of luck. Oh my, I can't believe I got wrapped up in this. Now, what do we do? Maybe Mulan can help us out again. Oh, I can't believe that I let this happen. I'm a complete failure as a, as a Supreme Kai. Guess there's no getting around it. Okay, I'll help. What? Whoa, really? What the hell are you saying? Just so we're clear, I'm not going to the land of Kais. Well, how are you going to meet Gilder Kai? <laughs> you remember what I was working on when you came here a little while ago. Uh, nope, don't remember. I, I said I was working on a robot clone of myself. You know, one that's got my looks and voice. Oh yeah, so you're going to let that robot version of you meet Elder Kai. Bingo! Hmm, are you sure that will work? I'll get to work and finish the thing up as soon as I can. Just So, so just sit tight, okay? Shouldn't take too long, as I was almost finished before. One hour later. Uh-oh, two Bulmas. <laughs> and here she is, a practically perfect copy of me. Whoa, it's like there's two of, of you now. It uses artificial intelligence to move, so in theory it should be as lifelike as possible. Incredible, Elder Kai might just be con convinced it's the real you. One thing though, remember how I said it with your fight with Vegito messed up a bunch of stuff? Well, I wasn't able to finish an important component as a result. So what? You weren't... So what? Weren't you able to... So what? Weren't you able to finish? I mean, it just looks like you. The voice production module. It was supposed to be controlled automatically by the AI, but that's not possible now. So basically, th this thing can't talk on its own. Now what do we do? If the robot doesn't talk, Elder Kai will surely figure out that it's not the real you. Got no choice but to control it manually. Using this. That's exactly what it looks like. I'm like, anything spoken into this will come out of the robot's mouth. The robot's programmed to have a voice that sounds just like mine, so it should sound pretty convincing. I see. So now all we need is someone to speak into the microphone. I'm the one who's going to bring the robot to Elder Kai, so I can't do it. I've been asked with overseeing Goku, so it would be strange if I didn't accompany him. That just leaves... Me? That's right, you're the only one free. Don't be absurd, I can't speak for this damn thing. It's like, you know, it's like nobody even cares. Elder Kai's help was crucial in saving the world from Majin Buu. Please, Vegeta, we owe him this. Yeah, Vegeta, please. How the hell do I always get dragged into these messes? Because you won't get a job, that's why. Maybe you can finally pull your weight around here. Oh, man. Vegeta is such a sadist. Mean. He is the one saying that you don't want to mess with, guys. Our apologies for the wait. Finally! It took you dots long enough! I thought I was going to die of old age waiting for you! Haha! <laughs> you sure do like dying, don't you, Elder Kai? Shut it! That's enough out of you! He doesn't like dying, Goku. Well, did you bring me what I wanted or not? Yeah, just like you asked. Oh ho ho! Well done, Goku! Well done! <laughs> this isn't another one of your friends in disguise again, is it? Of course not. No transformations this time. Very good, then. Goku has an incredible ability to engender trust in others. I'm quite impressed. Good, good. Now then, it's time that just the two of us get better acquainted. Ahem. 
You too, beat it. Go on, scram, scram. Okay, jeez. It's your turn now, Vegeta. We're counting on you. Uh-oh. Here he is. Yeah, you're a bit older than I expected, but you'll do just fine. What did you say? Uh, I mean, thank you so much. Oh, you're a fiery one. I don't dislike that. Now then, come a little closer. Okay. Mm. Are you in pain? My stomach stings and my chest hurts. Oh no, here, I, here I'll make you feel better. Oh, ho, ho, just relax, my dear. Uh, enough! Hands off! What? You're Vegeta? Nobody lays a hand on my wife, even if it's just a robot. What? What's the meaning of this? Oh no! Oh no! With their plan foiled, Goku and the Supreme Kai are forced to explain everything to Elder Kai. How did Vegeta get there? That's two times! Two times you fooled me! Me! A Supreme Kai! Sorry, Gramps. I didn't think Vegeta ruined the whole thing by jumping out like that. Damn you, Kakarot! This is not my fault! I can't believe it! I will not! I cannot forgive you for this! And don't be like that. I'll do better next time. Promise! I don't believe you! And, and you went along with this! I expected better from you! My apologies. Well, Kakarot, how are you going to fix this mess? Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> you damn fool! Oh, hey, wait! I just remembered. What do you remembered? Oh, two Bulmas. Because you won't get a job, that's why. Maybe you can finally pull your weight around here. It'll take your lack of real response as, Okay, Bulma, I'll do it. Right, time to head back to see Elder Kai. Oh, hold on. Here, Goku, take this with you. What is it? It's a capsule. If the whole robot thing doesn't work out, use it. You can tell the old guy it's a gift from me to him. I have had it ready and waiting ever since the last time you tried to get me to go. Just in case. Inside, you'll find, well, just some stupid crap. My father's personal collection, basically. That's right. Bulma gave me a capsule in case the robot didn't work. I wonder what's inside. Oh, what? What is this? Gross! It's, it's just a bunch of books that Best Roshi likes to look at. What were we supposed to do with this stuff? Oh ho ho ho! What do you, what do you have there? <laughs> this is rather naughty, but I like it! Um, right, Obama said this is a gift from her to you. Oh ho ho ho, and what a lovely gift this is! And now I won't have to rely on my imagination. I have these photos to stare at, and they're professional quality. Oh, and look, there's a mail order present offer in this one. I'll have to send away for that. <laughs> Looks like you're pretty happy, Gramps. Yes! <laughs> what a big pervert, Elder Kai. <clears throat> I mean, I'm moderately pleased. You've done well to bring me such a wonderful collection of books. Normally, I wouldn't be able to forgive you for deceiving me twice, but I'll make a special exception just this once. Phew. But it's, I still expect you to bring a beautiful woman someday. Fortunately, I'll have these to tie me over until then. <laughs> sure thing, Gramps. <sighs> what an exhausting endeavor. Batara transformation is earned. Nice. We'll be able to fuse Vegeta. During a battle against enemies. I mean, how nice can it be? Oh, we only got four more submissions to go, guys. We're going to go see Aureli. We're going to see Bulma's trunks. Yes. So yeah, the books you gave him perked him up, right up. Thanks, Bulma. Not a problem. I was looking to get rid of that garbage anyway. What was really surprising was seeing Vegeta jump out and get all angry like he did. I wasn't expecting that. Right. <laughs> right. Gee, I wonder why he would do such a thing. Wanna fess up, Vegeta? Sh shut up. What's done is done. Gee, is so rude and bossy. Get it. 
You guys have really put me through the ringer with this one, but I actually got a lot out of it. Oh yeah? I wouldn't expect you to understand, but just know that I'm satisfied. <laughs> She's laugh get her laugh gets me all the time. Vege Goku and Vegeta's Patara transformation is now available. By using the Patara in battle, Goku and Vegeta can transform into Vegito. Patara Fusion has the following restrictions. Goku and Vegeta must be both be in the party. The fusion will end after a set amount of time. The fusion will end when the battle is ended. Alright. really made me laugh when Elder Kai went insane over the girly magazines. This is like Master Roshi! And no wonder why Dr. Briefs left all the old stuff. Bulma had to get rid of them. But let's carry on to a, to a, to a submission where we're gonna go see Aureli. I remember her. With the Gotchins. She appeared in Dragon Ball Super when fighting against Vegeta. And she was fighting with everyone, and including Beerus and Whis. Yeah, I remember. I remember Whis used that used that Hawkeye move on the on that evil ghost. Uh oh! I think I'm lost. And look, I recognize her, Rayleigh. Hey, it's you. Huh? Who are you, mister? Do you know me? Yeah, yeah, I know you. I met when you when I was little. I met you when I was little. You really helped me out when the Red Ribbon Army was trying to steal my Dragon Balls. Oh yeah? Really? Man, it's been forever. I was in a real hurry back then, so I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Goku. Nice to meet you. I'm Aurelia, and this is a Gachan. Go beep -boo! I remember these Gachans. They eat metal. So what are you guys doing all the way out here? Um, um, we walked too far. Can you make your way back home without getting lost? Um, which way is Penguin Village? Kopi poo Wait, you mean you guys are already lost? Hmm? I'm lost? Do you know where Penguin Village is? Kopi poo Here it comes. Aurelia and her friends are lost in a far away from home. Help them find Penguin Village. Oh, I remember Penguin Village. I remember the Penguin Village from Dragon Ball, the one the General Blue Saga, and from the other series, Dr. Slump. Sure, I guess I could take you guys there. Hooray! So what are you going to do? So excited! So excited! Uh, wait, I don't remember where your village is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't worry, I know what to do. I'll ask Fortune Teller Baba. Fortune Teller Baba? Fortune Smeller Baba? Is she strong? It's Fortune Teller Baba, Rayleigh. Yeah, in a way. She's a crazy smart old lady that'll definitely be able to tell us where your village is. Hooray! Let's go see Fortune Smeller Baba! Koopy poo! That's Fortune Teller Baba, Rayleigh. Say it right! Hold on just a sec. I'm gonna go see if I can find out where she is. Found her. I'm gonna use instant transmission, so grab on. Okie dokie. I can't believe Aureli just said fortune smeller. <laughs> she just mispronounced words all the time. I remember General Blue used that telekinetic power on Go on Goku. Right after he Goku and Aureli licked the blade off of Blue's knife, and Goku says, All right, you big bully, give me back my Dragon Balls right now! And he throws him. And he chopped the tree down and tried to kill him. And Aureli head headbutts General Blue right in his stomach and beat him up, set him flying. Are you Fortune Smeller Baba? You have a funny face! <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Goku? Who are these rude little pests? I, Aureli... I already told you, that's Fortune Teller, Baba. You better say it right already. Uh, this little girl's Aureli. She's lost and needs to find her way back home. Would you be able to tell us where that is? Yeah, it's called Penguin Village. 
What do you think I am? A dick in service? Oh, come on, fortune teller, Bob. I have a heart. Um, you want my help? It'll cost you... Uh, uh, I don't have any money, but I'll go get you some gemstones. That'll work, right? Hmm, we'll see. Go get gemstones then. <laughs> All right, I'll go find some now. Pure green crystals, pure red crystals, and pure blue crystals. There are three of them that I need to find. All right, this should be enough to get Fortune Teller Baba to help us. I already got them. Let's go, Goku, collect gemstones and bring... Oh, my God. And bring them to Fortune Teller Baba. In the... Great West Desert. Got what you wanted, Fortune Teller Baba. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well now, these are mighty fine gemstones. So does that mean you're going to help us find Penguin Village? Very well, I'll help you. So excited, so excited. Penguin, Penguin, Penguin Village. Whoa. So cool. Go people! Well, did you find it? The crystal ball showed the path to Penguin Village. Great, got it. We should be good to go now. Hmm, if that's all you needed, go on then. Sure thing. Thanks, Fortune Teller, Baba. Oh, all right, Aureli. You ready to go back to Penguin Village? Oh, hee hee! Go people! Oh, guess who we're gonna go see? Oh, we got a, a copy pot gift set. What is that thing for? Yay! Oh, Goku is and Aureli are going to Penguin Village just so they can see... Let's see, who are we going to see? This big fat guy with a funny... with a mustache? I remember him. He was the one with a hat. He was fixing Goku's dragon radar. And also... Oh yeah, he had a son named Turbo, the flying baby who can fix stuff. He also made the dragon radar too, after General Blue took the radar from him. His name... the man? His name is Senbei Norimaki. Yeah, I've seen Senbei Norimaki appear in Dragon Ball Super. Man, I didn't think getting that little girl back to Penguin Village would take so long. Excuse me! Oh, there's Senbei! Dr. Slump! Um, you wouldn't have, to have happened to see some energetic little children around here, would you? Energetic children? Wait, are you talking about Aurelia and her friends? Yes! Are they here? No, they're back in Penguin Village now! What? Whoa, what's with the screaming? Everything okay? I'm sorry, I'm just a little flustered. I left the mission to the village to find a rally, but my plane started to malfunction. And on top of that, I was so wrapped up in finding her that I lost track of where I am. Oh, now I'm the one that's lost. Wait, if you're looking for a rally, does that mean you're from Penguin Village? You know about Penguin Village? Yeah, I just came back from there. Uh, you came back from there? Well, since I'm the, I know how to get to Penguin Village now, you want me to take you there? Yes, please. Thank you so very much. Jeez, you must have been in trouble to have a reaction like that. But how are we going to get there? You don't seem to have a plane or a ve other vehicle. I'll use instant transformation. Or at least I would if I could sense a really ski. Oh, well, I just have to fly you over there then. Huh? Fly? You can fly? Yep, but if you fall, you'll probably die. So just make sure you hold on tight. What? D wait, d die? Alright, here we go. Oh, I remember Senbei. Aren't you going a little too fast? I'm going to fall. Let's kick it up a notch. Ah! Senbei Norimaki makes it back to Penguin Village, but the whole ordeal seemed to have taken a lot out of him. Oh. Yeah, Senbei was voiced by Bryce Armstrong, the late Bryce Armstrong, in Dragon Ball in Funimation. But in Dragon Ball Super and in this game, he is voiced by R. Bruce Elliott. He also did Captain Genyu and, and Dr. Wheelow. That's for sure. 
He also did Fast Grind from Full Metal Alchemist. But, but enough about it. We got three more to go. Lone Guardian, we got, we're gonna have to play as Trunks. Let's switch to Trunks. Cool. It's all cool. Let's see a story one more time. You can also have, let's see here. You can't have Goku and Vegeta and Krillin and Yamcha and the Sins of the Father. Let's see. We're going to use Piccolo and Tien. Actually, let's use Gohan and Piccolo. Gohan and Piccolo. Ta-da! <sighs> yeah, I'm still not going to be really training for every character, but I trained all... I trained all moves for Gohan. Alright, playing as Trunks, we're going to talk to Bulma. Let's speak to Bulma. Oh, uh, Mother. Huh? What's up? Well, I'm not really here for help. Actually, my mother in the future did ask me to bring something back for her. Maybe my mother in this time period could help me find it. Lone Guardian. Trunks has been asked by his mother in the future to bring something back from the past. See if the Bulma in this time period can help. Ta da Um, there's something I wanted to ask you. Great, whatever it is, I'll do it. Really? I haven't even told you anything yet. Hey, I'm not going to turn down on my own son. Go on, ask away. That's my mother for you. Well, I was hoping to bring back some seeds for a plant that's already been wiped out of my time. My mother, uh, you, in my time period, asked me to go get some. She says she wants to grow it because of how nutrient-rich it is. Oh yeah? And what plant is that? It's called mag Magademia. Magademia? Yeah, that's not going to be easy to get a hold of. If, even in this time period, that plant's pretty hard to come by. It only grows in a very specific place. So that's what I was afraid of. But I should be able to pinpoint where you can find it if I look through my database. Give me a sec. Okay, thank you. The location of the mag Magademia has been marked on your map. So yeah, you should be able to find it in that forest. I know I don't have to tell you this, but be careful, okay? Will do. Head towards North Mountain area on the world map. That's in Dolinge Ponia. As Trunks, get your hands on some Magidemia seeds. Oh, Trunks at a level 82. How oh, cool. And there's Android 17! Oh, come on. Please get out of my way already. I don't have time to battle with you guys.
Oh man. I'll just go Super Saiyan. And kick the crap out of you, you bucket of bolts. Why do these guys have to interfere? Ouch. I'm in a hurry. Don't mess with me, guys. No, 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 no. Please don't do it. Stop supporting. Ah, you're finished. Okay, let's talk to 17. Wait, is that Android 17? Your trunks, right? Yeah. I asked what you're doing here, but I'm actually glad you came. Huh? Let's fight. I've been itching to test that power of yours for a long time. You want to fight me? Are the androids in the time period ruthless killing machines too? Hmm. All right, we're gonna meet. We're gonna face Android Seventeen, and he's at a level forty-nine. Ah. Boom. That was real easy. Ding. Level one hundred and fourteen. <laughs> Not bad, Trunks. Right back at you. You're a lot stronger than before. You mean stronger than the future me? Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm, sorry for the sudden challenge. If you're back here, then that means you've already destroyed the future versions of me and my sis, right? I wanted to see that power for myself. Oh, okay, I thought it felt like you weren't going full force. Well, it felt like you were, at least a little bit. Oh, uh, well, uh... Relax, I don't blame you, given the future you've had to deal with. But that's your time period, not mine, so it's not really my concern. Yeah, you might be right. The androids I know aren't like you at all. By the way, what is it you're doing here, exactly? I'm a ranger. I look after the plants and animals here. What? Never mind pictures. I never really pictured myself doing this, to be honest. Sixteen, sure, but me? Don't you get lonely living here by yourself? Oh, you've got the wrong idea. I don't live alone. You mean you live with someone else? Well, yeah, I'm married. What? Wow, he's not like the 17 of my time period at all. He may as well be a different person. I guess I had reason to, no reason to be worried. I'm having a hard time picturing 17 as a married man. Oh, that's right. What's wrong? I'm actually here to find some macadamia seeds. Macadamia? Yeah, it's extinct in the future. Gotcha. Wait here a sec. Huh? Here, this is it, right? You got macadamia seeds. Thank you. Why did you go into the trouble of getting it for me? It's not exactly easy to find for the everyday person. Oh, I see. Well, if you're done here, I'm going to need you to leave. I've got work to do. An android taking care of a forest, huh? I hope I can see this much greenery in my time period soon. Oh, that's very nice of him. Oh, Logornian's done. Only two more. Ah. And we also got a soul emblem from Android 17. Ta-da! I need to do my best, too. Oh, we only got two more sub-stories. Just forget about the villainous foes. Hang on, stand up. <sighs> now I have to sit back down. All right, talk to Bulma. Find out what's troubling her. I really wanted to go, but I guess my hands are tied on this one. What's going on? Oh, Trunks. So, a bunch of people are meeting up at the Kami house, but something came up and I can't make it. I can't make it. I see. So that's what's got you feeling down, huh? I... I it would have been really nice to catch up with everyone and share stories. Yeah, that does sound like fun. Sounds like another waste of time. Father. 
If you've got time to waste blabbering about the past, you've got time to train. Uh, Vegeta and Trunks are going to train. Typical Vegeta, no, no sense of nostalgia. Hey, you say you were interested, right? You should head over to the Kami house then. Me? The sins of the father. Bulma wants to go to the Kami house, but she can't and wants Trunks to go instead. Can't have Goku, Vegeta, Krillin, and Yamcha in your party, you know. You know, it would be nice to talk to everybody. I think I will go. Good to hear. Have a great time. Thanks. Maybe I can ask the others to tell me more about my father from this timeline. Trunks makes his way to the Kami house. The Kame house, I mean. Not Kami. Hi, everyone. Oh, it's Trunks. Where's Bulma? She said she has something to do, so I came instead. No worries, Trunk. Good to see you, buddy. This is perfect. With those ladies here, we can have a real men's night and talk about manly stuff. What? <laughs> what, Yamcha? You seriously used to be shy around women? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That story's off limits, guys! It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get over that! I'm a different person now! That's right! Yeah, I'm just the best! Huh? But didn't you and Bulma hit it off right after meeting each other? Well, yeah, because I was super determined, you see? So yeah, that's how I found Master Roshi Stone and brought it to back to him. You were pretty mean back then, Krillin. You tricked me real good. Hey, I wasn't mean. I was just more of a, let's say, opportunist. <laughs> I can't picture you doing something like that, Krillin. The group continues to reminisce all through the night. The next morning, just as everyone is about to go their separate ways, Trunks starts to ask about Vegeta. What? My father did something that awful? Yeah, he was a real bad dude back then. He gave us some serious trouble both here on Earth and on planet Navik. Right before Frieza dies. Yeah, and he even killed me. He was killed by the Cybermen. My father killed you? Well, technically Yamcha was killed by these things called Cybermen that Vegeta and his partner brought. His partner was referring to as Nappa. Vegeta's partner, Nappa. Yeah, well, same thing. I can't believe- I can't believe this. Relax, Trunks. That was a long time ago. Exactly. It's not like I've got a grudge against your old man. Vegeta's not even thinking about destroying Earth now. You've got nothing to worry about, Trunks. That was easy for you to say. Look, a lot- a lot's happened, but we're already glad to have Vegeta here with us. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't be anywhere near as strong as I am now if it weren't for Vegeta. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks for all the stories, guys. I better head back now. Sure thing. See ya. Edgeway Capsule Corporation. Alrighty then.
as Trunks head to Bulma's place. I'm already in Bulma's place, dude. Talk about the get-together at the Kami house. I'm back, Mom. Wow, you talked a lot about a lot, huh? Sounds like you had fun. Yeah, I learned from a lot from everyone. I even found out some things about Father. Um, weren't you scared of Father's back then? Nope, not at all. Really? Wow, nothing scares you, does it? You know your dad's not as cold as he seems. He cares about you. Do you really think so? Trunks! Father, suit up. I'm going to train you. Huh? Hurry up before I change my mind. Right. Vegeta and Trunks enter the train room and begin their train. Uh-oh. Here they come. Hmm. Prepare yourselves. Thanks. Uh, don't thank me, buddy. We're gonna beat Vegeta. He's at level 53. Uh-oh. Ah. Great blocking, dude. Let's finish him off. With... Oh, come on. Seriously. Burning attack. Boom. Gotcha, Vegeta. Trunks reached level 83. Perfect. That's enough for now. Thank you, Father. We'll do this again. Huh? As long as you're here, we're going to keep training like this. You're going to need to get stronger if you plan on protecting your world in the future. Father, even if, even if by just a little, take every opportunity you can to do better yourself. Thank you. I'll do my best to make you proud, Father. You are so bad at, at expressing how you feel. Hmm. Yeah, Vegeta doesn't care. Alright! Let's talk to her. You two are definitely related. <laughs> Right then. I'm gonna get out of there. And we're gonna go for the last submission, guys. But I'd say we go get that ultimate awakening water. Aureli, Gacha, and Senbei are known for cooking. Yeah, that's right. Cooking. Kind of reminding me of Chiyo-chan from Azumanga Daya when she does the cooking is so fun. It was on the first episode of, of the anime Azumanga Daya, which I have seen. But enough about Ozumanga Dayo. Let's go get that ultimate awakening water. You know, I'm probably going to do the DLC one day. But I hadn't thought about it. The DLC includes the history of, of Trunks, and Battle of the Gods, the Dragon Ball Z movie, and Resurrection of F, that's also a Dragon Ball Z movie, the one when Frieza was brought back to life by Sorbet. In Sashimi, in Togama. These are the guys that worked for Frieza. It's when Captain Genyo as a frog switched bodies to Togama. And Vegeta obliterated him. Yay. Let's go to the community. Aureli. 
What's that, Sinbei? Who else? The Gotchins. We should actually put them, put them right here. Wow. What else? Android Architect. Actually, let's put him there. No, 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 don't, put, don't, don't touch Android 18. Shut up. Actually, we're going to put Poir here and Chatsu in the Dell. Quiet. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, we'll put Senbei right here, for sure. Yep. No. Nope. Oh, come on. Alright, it's a lot better. Nope. They're actually development. Let's check Android 17. Adventuring, cool. Venture metal. A booyah. All right. No, 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 no. This doesn't go into cooking. Yeah, but this is an adventure. That's right. So, no, 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 come on, probably give him this, You know, let's just switch to Goku. See story. Time for tournament. We gotta add Vegeta in so that we can fuse. We can also add trunks. Oh, cool. Okay. 
Okay, this is going to be the final part of this series, Dragon Ball Z, of Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We're going to go talk to Balma. And do it, and talk to her, and we're going to be doing a tournament, a special tournament in... And let's see here. But we'll find out soon enough. Stand up. There she is. Let's ask Bulma for help. Oh, Goku! So, Bulma, I got I got something I need to ask you. Wow, right to the point, huh? What is it this time? I was wondering if you could hold some sort of tournament, you know, like the World Tournament. Come again? You want me to do that? Why? Well, I was fighting Goten and Trunks earlier, and let me tell you, they were pretty strong. So I was thinking it'd be really fun if we had a tournament where me, Vegeta, and everyone else could go all out. Hmm, I'll just ignore the fact that you're probably looking forward to this more than the kids are. Anyway, why do you need me he, me to help you with that? Well, you're filthy rich, right? I figured all that money could help somehow. <laughs> why am I not surprised? So, can you help us out, Bulma? Well, I guess I might as well, seeing as you guys can't seem to do anything on your own. Seriously? Yeah, but on one condition. You do your part and help me with the preparations, got it? Time for a tournament. Eager to hold, it, hold on his own tournament, Goku approaches Bulma to see if she can help, and she agrees. It's time to begin the preps. All right. We're about to help Bulma one more time, guys. You got it. What exactly do you need me to do? Right. First, we need a place for you guys to fight. Do me a favor and see if we can't rent, just rent the World Tournament Arena, okay? We'll save ourselves a lot of work if we use that one. Good point. I'll go check it out. Head to the World Tournament Arena on the world map. And that's in... Far Southern Islands area. As Goku, see if you can use the World Tournament Arena for the tournament. All right. Oh, it's the tournament announcer. Let's go talk to him. Goku, is that you, Goku? Hey, long time no see. How's it going? Oh, the announcer's a nice guy. I bet he'll let us run the arena. There's something I actually wanted to talk to you about. Oh, and what would that be? Me and some of my friends are looking to hold our own tournament, so we were wondering if we could borrow this arena. Whoa, that sounds like a blast! Unfortunately, we can't let you do that. Really? Is it going to be used for another tournament or something? Well, no, it's just that this kind of a sacred arena that was built solely for the world tournament. It is explicitly forbidden that it be used for any other tournaments. Oh man, that's a real bummer. Now what are we going to do? I obviously can't help you with the arena, but if you don't mind, I could provide riveting commentary. Commentary? Uh, sure, I guess that'd be okay. But thank you, I can't wait to see you guys fight again. I'm not really sure what to do now. Guess I better head back to Boma. 
Okay, Goku now heads back to Bulma at the Capsule Corporation. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm standing up because sitting down is really, really killing me. Is there anything that could make me sit comfortably? Uh-oh. Here we go. I see. So we can't use the arena. There's got to be somewhere else we can fight, though, right? I don't think we have much of a choice now. We're going to have to use the area where you guys fought in the Soul Games. It's spacious and far away from many houses or people. I'll see if my company can purchase the land around there. Uh, are you sure? That sounds really expensive. You're concerned about that now? You're the one who wanted me to use my money to make this happen. Since you've saved my, the planet so many times, you can think of as my way of saying thank you. Wow, you're the best, Bulma. I'm, I'm just talking about the land, you know. If you think I'm shelling out for an ar ar arena you guys are just going to blow up, you're crazy. No worries, that's fine by me. Good, this is going to take some time, so head home and wait, okay? I'll contact you when the arrangements are finished. Sounds good. Man, I can't wait. Goku returns home, and some time later, Bulma calls to let him know preparations have been made. Alright, this is it, guys. We're about to finish the submission, guys. Let's see who we're going to battle in, in this submission. Oh, we're at Goku's house now. <laughs> it's almost time. Head toward continent center area on the world map. We're in Kodaiho lands, guys. After the loading screen. As Goku head to the arena in the Kodaiho lands. It's all good. But, knowing this, these enemies are at a level 150. I don't think I can take these guys on. Why can't I take these guys on? Because I'll get killed fast. I don't want to risk that. Oh, there's the World Tournament announcer. Oh, get some ra rainbow orbs. Hurry up. Gotta make sure that these enemies don't chase me again. And let's talk to him. The day is finally here. I can hardly contain my jubilation. As the tournament draws near, participants and spectators gather in droves. 
With everyone present, it's finally time to start the tournament. Oh! The promises to be a tournament for the record books. Oh my god, look who just arrived. Piccolo, Poir, Yamcha, he just changed his outfit. And Kid Trunks, Goten, Gohan, Bulma, Krillin, Oolong, Master Roshi, Merid, Android 18, and Vegeta. So how are we kicking this thing off? You just leave that to me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Capsule Corporation Tournament. Wow, Boba's really into this. For this tournament, combatants will form two-man tag teams. What? You mean this isn't one-on-one? -on -one? Obviously, since Trix and Goten are fighting, we have to do tag teams to keep things fair. You have a problem with that? I don't. Once Boma decides something, no one can convince her otherwise. Not even Vegeta. Alright, let's decide the teams. Um, actually it's my job to handle that. Whoa. It's finally time, ladies and gents. The drawing is over and the teams have been decided. Let's introduce them. First up are the Turtle School's finest. Goku and Krillin! Let's do this, Krillin. Yeah, we're gonna win this thing. Next up, we got the Twin Terror themselves. Don't let their sizes fool you. Goten and Trunks! Ah, uh, yeah, we're going straight to the top. Our next team is unlikely duo, but one whose bond is unparalleled. Gohan and Piccolo! I'm actually a little nervous. If you want to win this thing, Gohan, then you need to be relaxed. Right. And last but certainly not least, we got our final two combatants, Vegeta and Yamcha. Why are you even in this? I've been sitting on the sidelines for too long. I gotta make sure you guys don't forget about the great Yamcha. Damn it, what the hell did I do to deserve you as a teammate? Oh, and Veg oh, Vegeta and Yamcha are on the same team. Go, go get him, Yamcha! Hmm, the other pairings at least make sense. Th this ought to be interesting. Oh, now Poir, Oolong, Bulma, Roshin, 18, and Mara are watching the fight. Let's get right into it with our first match. It's Goku and Krillin versus Goten and Trunks. So we're up against you guys already, huh? I don't suppose you kids want to take it easy on me, huh? Come on, Goten, we're gonna fuse right from the start. Right. Fu oh, they're gonna fuse. Here they come. Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Ready? Go! Alright, we're gonna face Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. We're gonna go to Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, level 81. Solar Flare him. Quiet. And fight him. Man, I'm good at this. Uh-oh. Ouch. Z-combo him. Break! Booyah! Let me see if I Ah, oh, come on! We lost! We did it, Krillin! Yeah! Goku and Krillin easily best Goten and Trunks in a battle. Between the other two teams, it seems clear that the victor should be Gohan and Piccolo. However, in a surprising turn of events, Vegeta and Yamcha emerge victorious. I don't believe it. They actually beat Gohan and Piccolo. Way to go, Yamcha! Eh, Gohan's technique was rather sloppy. Something seems off. This is that tournament, fans. The final match of the Capsule Corporation Tournament. Goku and Krillin versus Vegeta and Yamcha! 
You guys are in real trouble now. I'm on top of my game today. Haha, <laughs> got you to see all you're all fired up, Yamcha. So, um, how, so how did you guys end up beating Gohan and Piccolo? Maybe I'm just imagining things, but it looked like Gohan started fighting like an amateur all of a sudden. Don't ask me. This bozo and Gohan stopped fighting while I was still con contending with the Namekians. Heh, <laughs> all I did was tell Gohan I'd give him some pointers on how to deal with the ladies. After that, he just stopped putting his heart into it. Guess I'm more of a master tactician than I thought. <laughs> Yamcha! I can't tell if this loser's surprisingly reliable or predictably cowardly. Anyway, let's get to this match going. Okay, I'm thinking I'm staying a chance against Krillin, so I should focus on fighting him. Hmm, ignore these cons, Kakarot. This match is between me and you. You got it, Vegeta. I'm ready for you. We're worlds apart. Oh, he turned Super Saiyan? Vegeta's at a level 82, and Yamcha's at a level 74. So I'm going to take Vegeta on first. Krillin, come on, man. Break. Come on. Wow, got the better of Vegeta. Now it's your turn, Yamcha. Come on, solar flare that punk. Yay! Okay, finish him off, bro. Oh, seriously? He just... You just countered me? Well, this is it! Boom! Dean S ranks! Level up! What the heck? You guys ever heard of a little thing called going easy on someone? Yamcha, the whole point of this tournament is to go all out. Uh, this doesn't count. I refuse to acknowledge this. Don't get the wrong idea, Kakarot. You only won because I had this jackass on my team. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, I destroy you. I know, Vegeta. What? What? Goku, you're making it sound like you think Yamcha's a pushover, too. Hmm. <clears throat> Jeez, Vegeta, you don't need to get so mad. Yamcha can't help that he's weak. Hey! <laughs> okay, that's enough, you guys. Huh? What are you talking about? Y Yamcha, what are you doing? Forget about me. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> what a finish! The champions of the Capsule Corporation Tournament are none other than Goku and Krillin. Oh yeah, we won! I feel bad, I, I kinda feel bad for Yamcha, but the tournament was a lot of fun, huh? You bet, I had a real blast! Goku Krillin, congratulations! Hey, that's, that's all of the submission, guys. We got Ultra Brain Bread and D-Metal and 341289EXP. Thanks for everything, Bulma. You told me this was for Goten and Trunks, but I bet you ended up having more fun than them, huh? Haha, <laughs> probably. We had fun, too. Yeah, we should do that again sometime. It might be good to do this once in a while. It's good training. Right, so I spend much, so much time studying. I could use some more physical exercise. Heh <laughs> We'll have to hold another tournament again sometime then, and we'll make it bigger and better than this one. Yeah! And so, the highly successful Capsule Corporation tournament comes to a close, and everyone returns home. However, one warrior remains, still hurting, not physically, but emotionally.
Leave me alone. I'm fine. Yamcha! Oh, why is Yamcha all alone? That was intense. Yeah. I... I can tell. Well, we got, a, we got a secret of success. Warriors. I'm glad everyone had a great time. Now that was a tournament. I was so excited and nearly forgot to breathe. Okay. All submissions and every story is done, guys. Too bad I'm not going to be doing all training, though. But I'm not going to fight these even stronger villainous foes. Besides, I would get my butt kicked. So I'm going to head to Goku's house for now. But either way, I'm going to go spend some, let's see here, give some items to Mr. Satan. The success, right? How do you even get Mr. Satan three stars? I tried Ultimate Awakening Water, but nothing changes. All he really does is change to two star. But what's the point? Here you go, hon. Hey, Goten. Uh, let's go to the community board one last time. And let's give some to Rayleigh. She's development, actually, to be, tell you the truth. That's enough. No, it doesn't work. Oh well. Nope. Okay, I think that's enough. Well, everybody, that's so. That is it for this Let's Play of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm gonna do another Let's Play of much different games, or I'm gonna do the DLC sometime. And I'll show you you the story of Future Trunks and Resurrection of F and Battle of the Gods. Until then, see you next time, guys.